Do you want to know how you can create one of these stacked donut charts in Excel, where every time you change some information, the chart's going to change with you? Well, if so, stick around. So what we need to do is use the left click of our mouse to highlight all of this information. And then we're going to go to insert, and then we're going to find this little pie icon down here, insert pie. Now we've got the option down here to go to more pie charts. So with this in mind, we're going to click on this one here right at the end. And we're going to click on this one here, the second one. So click on OK, and we can just move this up here just so we can see it closer. And what we're going to do is format this. So we are going to just click on this sales bit here because that's the title, the chart title. We don't really want that. So click on it and hit delete. And then at the bottom, select all of this and hit delete again. And then we're going to right click and then we're going to click on this here and right click and go to format data series. And here we're going to amend some of this here. So we're going to change that to 200. We're not going to change the donut explosion and the donut hole size we're going to change as well. And if we reduce this, you can see that that makes that quite big. So we're going to do it to about 40, uh, maybe even 50. And then we're going to change the color of some of this. Now we can edit this further by going to this here, go to fill. We could do no fill if you wanted to, solid fill, gradient fill, picture fill if you wanted, pattern, automatic. So again, we can change some of the colors of these by just clicking down here and amending the color. Some of these I don't like the look of, so I'm just going to change those to some nicer colors. I say nicer, they're not that hard on the eyes. However, I just make them a bit more vibrant. There we go. Now we can't really read those labels, so we're just going to change those slightly. That's better, isn't it? There we go. So again, here, if any of these change, so appliances, let's say that changes to 20,000, you can see that that's going to shift. And that is the beauty of a stat progress chart in Excel. So there you go. Follow for more.